I earlier on mentioned that we have the people's representative on the high table, Mr. Christopher Agbega, and would want to dedicate about five minutes to listen to him. He has an amazing message for us all. He wants to highlight on the lived experiences of people living with NCDs in the context of universal health coverage. So with a round of applause, let's welcome Mr. Christopher Agbega. Thank you. Um, good morning. Um, all protocols duly observed permits me to give my keynote speech from the comfort of my V8, if you permit me. Thank you. I stand before you today to shed light on a critical aspect of healthcare that often goes unnoticed. The lived experiences of individuals grappling with non communicable diseases within the broader framework of universal health coverage. This is not just a medical matter, it's a human matter, a matter that touches the lives of millions around the world. When we talk about NCDs, we are referring to conditions such as, well, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, cancers, chronic respiratory diseases. Mostly these are the diseases we know, but they are lesser known um, diseases like um, Stroke, I mean, stroke is known, but if you look at neurological conditions, mental health conditions, they are not mostly talked about until now, especially after COVID, when, when you hear the word underlying health conditions, then you wonder what are these underlying health conditions. These are not, um, sorry. These are not merely statistics. They are our family members, friends, and colleagues. Their stories are written in the challenges they face, the resilience they exhibit, and the hope they hold. Now, let us consider the concept of universal health coverage, a vision where everyone, regardless of their financial standing, has access to the health services they need without suffering financial hardship. It is a noble goal, an aspiration that embodies the principles of equality and justice. However, the con within the context of NCDs, we must delve into the lived experiences of those navigating these chronic conditions. Firstly, the financial burden that accompanies NCDs is staggering. The cost of medications, frequent medical visits, and sometimes complex procedures can plunge individuals and families into a cycle of economic distress. For them, the dream of UHC isn't just about access to healthcare. It's about safeguarding their economic stability and protecting their dignity. Persons living with NCDs are likely to lose their jobs or don't get employment. They depend on friends, families, and unfortunately, I am no exception. Beyond financial implications, there's the daily struggle with the physical and emotional toll of NCDs. Imagine waking up each day, imagine, waking up each day knowing that your body is at war with itself. The fatigue, pain, and emotional distress become constant companions. In this context, UHC extends beyond hospital walls. It becomes a commitment to ensuring that every person receives comprehensive care encompassing not just medical interventions, but also mental and emotional well-being. Moreover, the concept of coverage in UHC should transcend the mere provision of healthcare services. It must embrace prevention, early detection, and holistic support. Individuals living with NCDs need more than just treatment. They need a society that understands support and empowers them to lead fulfilling lives despite their health challenges. I, I, I want to live a fulfilled life, so despite my V8, I want to now sit in a Range Rover. Thank you. <laughs> As we discuss UHC, let us not forget the importance of education and awareness. 
many NCDs are preventable, and early detection can significantly improve outcomes. I want to hit on early detection before I continue. It took me nine years to get my diagnosis. So if you, if you think about it, what, what was my life like within those nine years? And I don't just speak for myself. I speak for every other person living with NCD, right? The cost of our medication or the cost of our diagnosis is very, very expensive. So sometimes we are caught up in that dilemma of what should we do or what do we do within that period? In conclusion, the lived experience of those with NCDs should be at the forefront of our discussions on universal health coverage. Their stories filled with resilience and courage should guide our policies, shape our healthcare systems, and inspire a collective commitment to building a world where health is a universal right, not a privilege. In conclusion, there are two documents I would want us to critically look at. One is the Global Charter on meaningful involvement of persons living with NCDs and the framework 